Hey YouTube. Uh, I normally don't do this type of thing, but my friend kind of taught me this and told me I should make a video on it, so I figured why the heck not. So, for Kujo Sarah, if we go, uh, let's say we go to her character. There we go. So, her talents, her talents provide uh, an attack bonus based on her, what's it called? Based on her base attack. So, what does base attack basically mean and how can you level it up? So, really simple. You go to attributes. If you go to details, there are two attack numbers. There's, there's a white one on the left and a green one to the right. The base attack is the white one. So, and the green one is basically anything that gives like attack percentage. So, how do you exactly increase her base attack? There's three different ways. One, you level her up. Uh, you level up a character. So let's say, uh, let's say I level up my traveler just cause, for an example. So I level him up to twenty one. His attack, gets, his base attack gets increased. Rip my XP. Uh, so that's one way. That's one way to increase your base attack. Your second way is by giving a high base attack weapon. So. If you go through your bows, I have a I have the wind bloom old from the um, wind festival event, so I had that a while ago. So I have a it's already level ninety. So max out your weapon to level ninety, and you'll have a really high base attack. Uh, so and if you just check like what's it called? If you check your other weapons, your other bows. So level one base attack, rust is forty two. Sacrificial Bow is 44, Stringless is 42, and Favonius War Bow is 41. So technically, highest uh, base attack is Sacrificial Bow. But, and it also gives energy recharge, so it's pretty good. But you can also use maybe uh, Favonius War Bow, because uh, it also has energy recharge. Rust is not that good, because attack percentage does not increase her base attack. It increases... Uh, it's the green number. It doesn't help her base attack. So, yeah. The third way, of course, is by leveling up her talents. I don't have her up to Ascension level 2 because I haven't done the story quest. But I believe if you... What's it called? If you level up her talents, her attack bonus ratio should go up. So that's one way of... Um, uh, what's it called? That's one way of leveling up uh, her talents slash helping out with her base attack. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Also, if you guys want to recommend me some, uh, what's it called? Maybe uh, a Raiden Shogun and a Kujo Sarah uh, build. That'd be great. And, like, a team. Right now, my team I'm considering is, like... Uh, that's not exactly it. Do I have it here? No, no, no. So, the team that I'm considering is like... Where's Bennett? There you are. The team that I'm considering is like this. I'm not sure if it's good. Tell me your builds down below if you want. Uh, I'm not sure about the order either. Like, who should be ulting first? It's like Raiden Shogun should be last. I have to figure out the other ones. So, yeah. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And take care.